Hello everyone. Today we talk about some common operation about uh, our uh, products. When you uh, receive our products, you may need them. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, it is about our uh, import switching power supply. For our RG series power supply, we have 400 watt, 800 watt, 1000 watt switching power supply. They are used for different RD series power supplies uh, so that you can use the AC import to power on the device and uh, different country has different AC import uh, so uh, you when you ordering a switching power supply from other shop uh, you can choose to uh, buy the 110 watt AC version or 220 volt AC version but in our shop they are made together in one switching power supply uh, it is default 220 watt AC import uh, you can hear you can see there is a switch a red switch it is default to use the 220 volt uh, usually you use 200 watt to uh, 240 watt you can use this gear and uh, if you uh, for for some customers who use 110 uh, volt AC import uh, like uh, Jap Japanese customers uh, they use 110 volt AC you need to switch it to this gear uh, different uh, switching power supply has different uh, mark but uh, it is same if you use 20, 220 volt uh, uh, use this put it to the this gear uh, if you use 110 volt uh, just uh, put it back It is default 220 volt AC import to protect the device. Uh, so if you use this voltage, uh, do not change it. But if you use this, uh, just put it to the gear you need. So uh, if you find the output of the switching power supply is not normal, uh, you just check if you put the switch to the right gear. Now we talk about the RD power supply. Uh, sometimes when you up, update the firmware uh, of our RD devices, it's stuck or the connection between the PC and the RD power supply disconnected. In this way, uh, your RD power supply uh, can be powered on, but the but you cannot just use it because the screen uh, here it uh, does not turn on but the power uh, they all can turn turn the green when you press it just there is no display and uh, in, in this way uh, it is the abnormal status uh, you can check the video uh, on, the, on the top in this way you just need to hold on the enter button uh, first uh, you need to turn off turn off the import hold on the enter button and connect the input power Okay, you can see here it go, it enters the boot boot mode, and you just need to connect the PC software and update the firmware again so that it can works. 
uh, recently some customers uh, ask me about these questions uh, because we uh, release the new cus uh, new firmware of RD6006 uh, sometime before and uh, they bought the RD6006 about two years ago so they needed to update it but they uh, do not uh, update, update it successfully so uh, they just uh, needed to uh, enter the boot mode and uh, download the latest firmware again so that it can work. Uh, in this way, there is something you need to remember that you need to hold on the enter button, hold on, not just press one time and turn on the input. You need to hold on the enter button and connect the input power. Uh, some customers may uh, just, uh, uh, for example, I show, will show you that. Okay. Some customers may just uh, uh, turn off this power button and press and hold on the enter button and turn on this. For example, if they do it in this way, uh, it does not work. You need to turn on the import power, not just turn on this. Okay. Uh, you may read the instructions. Uh, you can hold on the zero button and turn on the import power to reset the factory setting uh, for example you can see i hold on hold on the zero button i need to turn it off hold on the zero button and uh, turn on the input power in this way uh, you reset this in the manual it does not change the accuracy okay so it does not help if you want to calibrate the zero point and there is another uh, reset uh, the zero button uh, if you just use the pc software to calibrate the devices with your own multimeter and you find that finally it does not work as accurate as before so that you want to uh, reset it uh, in this way you just need to press and hold on the one button number one button and then turn on the import power then uh, you can reset the root point of the RD series power supply. Okay. Uh, finally, some customers may find that there is no battery in the uh, RD power supply box uh, because we use the AliExpress press shipping or some commercial shipping. Uh, they does not allow the, the pure battery. Uh, a pure battery cannot be sent in the box uh, so it needs you to prepare it the battery is CR1220 and it is just for the time display oh, here date and the time if you do not install it uh, you will not see this data and the time but the main function is not affected so just use it it's okay. Thank you for watching.